Hello. In 1762, after two centuries of maps based on Christopher Saxton's survey of the counties of England and Wales, the Society for the Encouragement of Arts, Manufactures and Commerce offered a prize of up to £100 for new county surveys carried out to the strictest scientific standards and to a scale of one inch to one mile. The challenge attracted a man called Peter Perez Burdett, who applied to survey Derbyshire. Born in Essex, Burdett was living at the time in a house in Amen Alley in Derby, alongside what is now All Saints Cathedral. Well connected locally, his friends included the artist Joseph Wright, who painted him several times, including in his famous painting of a philosopher lecturing on the orrery. Peter Burdett is shown here taking notes on the left, and Washington Shirley, Earl Ferrers of Staunton Harold Hall, who may be the figure on the right of the picture. Other associations included various members of the Lunar Society, notably Derby-based clockmaker and scientist John Whitehurst. To fund his survey, Burdett put out a promotional broadsheet, inviting subscriptions of one guinea, half, ten and sixpence, to be paid up front, and the balance on delivery of the completed survey. Burdett promised his map would show the exact geometrical location of every place remarkable or curious. Towns, villages, churches, gentlemen's seats, rivers, bridges, ferries and fords, wharfs, mills, roads, milestones, toll bars, large inns, Roman roads, ruins and antiquities. The subscriptions received were enough to employ an assistant, John Wyman, and enable work to get started in 1763. To recover all the costs involved in the necessary fieldwork, Burdett would still need to sell lots of copies of the finished article. The new map was published in 1767 on six sheets with a town plan of Derby to a scale of three inches to 500 yards, and sales were actively promoted by Burdett who took out a large advertisement in the local newspaper, the Derby Mercury. Burdett's map was awarded the full £100 offered by the Society for the Encouragement of the Arts, the second of 13 applicants after Benjamin Dunn for Devon in 1765 to receive the full amount. His map of Derbyshire, the first of the county based on a completely new survey since Christopher Saxton, nearly 200 years earlier in 1577, was judged by the Society to be the best of all the county maps produced in response to their challenge. It was engraved by Thomas Kitchen at his workshop in Holborn Hill, London, on copper plates. These were later sold and were updated by cartographer John Chapman, who had previously worked on a map of the adjacent county of Nottinghamshire. His map of Nottingham, surveyed in 1774, appeared on four sheets to a scale of one inch to the mile. The pace of change in the intervening years from Burdett's survey of Derbyshire to Chapman's revised version, which was published in 1791, parliamentary enclosures, industrialisation, increasing urbanisation and the advent of canals, meant Burdett's original survey was soon out of date. Not all the changes that had taken place are recorded in the update, but the two editions are an important source for local historians that inform wider research into the county's development over time. Main roads on the Burdett map are indicated by unbroken lines and secondary routes by pecked lines. Distances are shown as mileages measured from All Saints Derby. Burdett went on to survey Cheshire. The result was published on four sheets in 1777. Detailed maps of other counties were appearing at the same time, a reflection of increasing travel, communications and trade in the period. William Yates began a survey of Staffordshire in 1769 and produced a fine map to a scale of one inch to the mile in 1775, engraved by John Chapman who would later update Burdett's Derbyshire. As well as Nottinghamshire, Chapman also surveyed Essex 
in partnership with Peter Andre. Their map, drawn to a scale of two inches to a mile, was published in 1777 as a wall map measuring a little over seven feet by nine feet and in a 25 page atlas. Copies of the 1791 facelift of Burdett's Derbyshire were sold by George Snowden in Derby and were also available from cartographer and engraver John Carey's London workshop. Carey produced a wide range of maps, including large-scale maps of London and a new and correct English atlas, issued in 1787. This is Carey's Derbyshire, and a road book in the style of John Ogilby that we looked at in the previous video, published in 1794. For geographical reference, Carey adopted the prime meridian at Greenwich, the standard for measuring longitude on British maps and charts from 1851, and widely across the world from 1884. John Carey was a prolific and successful cartographer, but the growth of the Ordnance Survey, the National Mapping Agency, would make life difficult for independent commercial map makers. The seeds of the Ordnance Survey lie in the aftermath of the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745, when William Roy was charged by the Board of Ordnance with surveying Scotland for military purposes. Roy's work and the founding and development of the Ordnance Survey will be my topic next time. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.